hello, hello. I'm going to make a few videos going over some of the exercises you can incorporate into your strength training plan. So I'm gonna start with um, some pushes or presses. I'll probably use those words interchangeable, um, but I'm gonna start with the strict press and then I'll show you with the barbell. Um, just, I'll just grab a weight here. Two. All right, so your strict press is moving the weight from your shoulders to your overhead with just your upper body. So this can, most of the time I do the standing, it can be done sitting as well. Um, so from here, keeping my abs really tight, just pushing them over my head. All right, um, what we don't want to see is a bend here to get the weight over your head. So your abs should be locked in here, your butt should be squeezed, and you push it overhead. If you want to push this way, that's fine as well. Um, and what I mean by your core should be engaged is this distance that's your rib, your rib and your hip, we'll call these two points, um, should be locked in tight. And then, so you're flexing your abs, you're holding them as if, like, if I said I was gonna hit you in the stomach, well, what would you punch in the stomach, what would you do? And then you should be holding your rear tight too. Okay, so right there. So you're bracing your core. This is actually called a braced neutral core. This is not. Okay, so locking it in right here. This is how every exercise is also a core or ab exercise. So as we push the weight over our head, we have that locked into place and push it up. As the weight gets heavier, and that's something we'll talk about how heavy in class, you're going to want, there's a tendency for this. And that's what we want to avoid. Um, and that's when we're going to talk about a lot about that brace neutral core, keeping that engaged and tight. All right, now I'll take a look at the same movement with the barbell. Um, even though it is the same movement, there are a couple adjustments you'll have to make just because it is a barbell. Um, you could do the seated. I typically, I would say 99% of the time I see it stand, standing. But if you had an injury of some sort, you could still be seated. You know, if you had a lower body injury, you could be seated. Um, so with the barbell, we're gonna hold it here in the front rack, right here. So from the side, like this. And we'll go over that for sure. And then just like this with the dumbbell, the bar is gonna go over your head. I'll bring it back down. The difference now is that we have to make a couple adjustments because of the bar and our head. So like the dumbbell, we're gonna to have to move our head. Um, the dumbbells, we don't have the scenario, but you have to move your head slightly out of the way. So we're here, you can move it back just a little bit. It's just a little bit like this. You still keep that brace neutral core. Your abs have to be tight. Your butt is like squeezed under. Um, here, hold the head. And then the head goes through. So we don't want to push it out this way. Even when I did that, you can see like I had to sway my back to do that. So there is a little bit of difference when you go from a dumbbell to a barbell, um, but you're still keeping, you still gotta focus on keeping the core tight, keeping that locked into place not letting that go loose, um, keeping that tight, not letting there be a movement here. That's when people tell me their back hurts from this. Um, so we'll focus a lot on that. And those are the two strict press overhead movements. So in the pushes category.